In this video, we will review the process of receiving orders into Kroll using the McKesson Web Service to import your invoices. Your pharmacy will no longer need to download the invoice file and upload it into Kroll. The Web Service communication will pull the invoice files automatically. This change is due to McKesson posting on PharmaClick that they will be discontinuing the downloading of invoice.dat files effective December 31st, 2021. This change will make sending orders and receiving invoices easier and less likely to fail. There are factors that will determine the steps required to receive an invoice. It is recommended you create your orders in Kroll instead of directly in PharmaClick to make the receiving process a smoother one. To start the receiving process, go to Utilities, Drug Ordering, Communicate with, McKesson, and Communicate. The McKesson Web Service communication window will pop up. Enable the Download Invoice flag to have Kroll search for invoices on PharmaClick and the Receive Invoice flag to have those invoices processed and received into your inventory when applicable. If you want to print an invoice receiving report, select Prompt or Yes. The default print preference is set in your vendor configurations. When ready, click Start to begin communicating. Kroll will pull invoices from PharmaClick automatically with the PharmaClick invoice and PO number. The message will tell you what will be done with the specific invoice and each invoice can be selected for review allowing you to compare the items in the invoice with the original Kroll purchase order. The left side will show the items included in the invoice, and the right will display the matching Kroll purchase order. Selecting an item will highlight the matching item on the other side. For items that contain a message, such as discontinued, substituted, or backordered, the text is shown when the item is selected. That same message will print on the receiving report. If it's helpful, you can make this window full screen and adjust the sections for you to thoroughly review the invoice. When ready, flag on the invoices to be processed and select Continue. Each invoice will then be processed, inventory and prices updated, and the receiving report will prompt or print if requested. The receiving report will break up each invoice into narcotic and regular drugs, as well as clear grouping for items you didn't receive. Important things to remember. The first time you use this method, invoices you have not downloaded from the past 14 days will be brought over into Kroll. Downloading invoices only will not update your inventory. Be sure to flag on the receive invoice as well. If not everything from your purchase order is included in the invoices, the status of the order will show partially received. When you sent your order, if you didn't make any changes in PharmaClick, PharmaClick should eventually include the items in a future invoice. However, if you deleted items from your order in PharmaClick, you will need to manually zero receive those items to tell Kroll to stop looking for them in invoices. Later, when the remaining invoices are available, you will see a message indicating that the purchase order has already been partially received. Only items in the invoice on the left will be received into Kroll. Items in the Kroll purchase order on the right that have a received quantity will not be adjusted again. If you added items to your Kroll order directly in PharmaClick, those items will also be received into your Kroll inventory. Once again, flag on the appropriate invoices and hit continue to begin processing. Items added in PharmaClick will show in a separate section on your receiving report. If you deleted items from your purchase order after sending it to PharmaClick from Kroll, to complete that order, go to Utilities, Drug Ordering, Purchase Order Receiving. Select the applicable order and choose Receive Manually to zero out the deleted items. Only do this if you deleted order items in PharmaClick. It is best practice when receiving your orders to review what invoices you are receiving to ensure that inventory is not adjusted incorrectly. 
Watch for invoices for purchase orders that have already been marked as received. For invoices you do not want to receive in Kroll, make sure that they are not selected when you process them. If you cancel an order in Kroll, it does not cancel the same order in PharmaClick, so watch for those invoices as well. Orders made in PharmaClick may have no purchase order number, and you will need to tell Kroll what to do with those invoices. If you do need to create an order in PharmaClick, always put a PO number to match it later. If you come across an invoice that does not have a matching Kroll purchase order, you will be prompted to decide what to do with the invoice using the dropdown for each invoice. These will be orders created in PharmaClick. First, selecting Treat as non-PO receive will update your inventory, drug prices, and clear the invoice. Choose this for invoices that contain items that you need to receive into your inventory. The Treat as no stock received option will not update your inventory. Select this option if the invoice is for items you do not keep track of inventory, such as front store items or supplies. Skip this PO will prompt you to decide again later. The invoice is downloaded, but not processed. For pharmacies new to Kroll or new to order receiving, the first time you communicate with McKesson, the past 14 days of invoices will be displayed. Be sure to review each one to avoid duplicate receiving. Once you've decided what to do with each invoice, select OK. The processing screen is shown once again to allow you to review all invoices and associated messages. Click the top checkbox to select all invoices and hit continue to process. If you wish, you can change the default action for non cruel purchase orders. Go to Utilities, Drug Ordering, Edit Vendor List. Open McKesson and select the Receiving tab. Select the action that best fits your pharmacy. Here is also where you can set your order report preferences. When done, hit OK to save your changes.